so ladies and gentlemen recently a month back i had made a video on a tantric i had made a new playlist on personal stories and in that i spoke about a tantric if you have not watched that video then maybe you could go to this playlist you will find it above this all right so many people told me that they were amazed by that story of course that tantric is not there in this planet anymore so we pray for his departed soul or we pray for him rather because he is he he's the soul you know <laughs> but people often say that we pray for the departed soul all right so today i am back with another amazing thing which happened in my life this happened in the year 2012 it was june and it is this time of the year not exactly this date near around this date it was in the holy land of jagannath puri in india jagannath puri is a very holy place in india and now the rath yatra festival you know these things are piling up of course and 2012 I was there in the Jagannath Puri Rath Yatra. I was extremely, extremely, extremely blessed. I was extremely fortunate and lucky. I don't know what to call. <laughs> and we had a big camp there. Many of my gurus had come. Many of my god brothers. They were there. We shared some amazing stories on Jagannath, Baldev, and Subhadra, which I will share some other time. <laughs> But today. is a description of an invisible man now why i tag this per- this video as the invisible man because this person suddenly suddenly just disappeared disappeared does not mean that uh, he was in front of my eyes and suddenly something happened and zoop he just disappeared no it doesn't mean that it means i tried so much to find him all right let's start <laughs> So it was June two thousand twelve, almost how many years? Two thousand and seven years back. My God, did I say six? Anyways, so seven years back, I was in Jagannath Puri, and then uh, if you know, if you have been to Jagannath Puri, and yes, by the way, if you have been, then write it in the comments and also write what did you do after going there, except for taking rubbery. <laughs> so uh, in Jagannath Puri temple, you know. in that vicinity there is a very special bazaar there is like a market place it's known as anand bazaar i i'm not able to recall if that's in the temple or near to it or it, is it near gundicha mandir i'm not able to recall so anyways so anand bazaar is the place where all the prasad and the mahaprasad of lord jagannath comes out and it's a very famous place you know everybody knows it so in anand bazar uh, i had gone there with one of my uh, senior god brother and after going there i had heard that there are two things which are very special in jagannath puri one is the rabri rabri is uh, for the westerners it's kind of condensed milk not not the condensed milk which you find in the market stores that's like maybe a perverted version but this rabri means you know it's like you are going on heating the milk again and again and for hours and it's condensed and it's very thick so that's the actual condensed milk so yeah uh, this rabri is very famous in jagannath puri and if you go to anand bazar you will see totally in brown color you know it's like the color of the skin of human beings not very dark brown it's like exactly brown you know it's like not too much dark of course the if the fat content is very high then it can be very dark also but in it looks like this in a body color so that's very famous and the other item which is very famous is khaja of course you know it's like a <sighs> it's very difficult to translate in english you know it's like uh, something which is fried and you know it's so i can't explain you know <laughs> you have to go and taste <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> I went to Anand Bazar with one of my seniors, and <clears throat> we just had a wonderful, amazing lecture. Uh, the lectures were in a different place, in a different hall, and we were amazed. And <clears throat> we heard of the Anand Bazar. So then, when I went, I was, you know, like exploring different things within inside Anand Bazar. 
amazing 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 things you know all of them you know they and they are extremely cheap you know it's like very affordable also and uh, finally my eyes went to <laughs> these two dishes so then i went and i took some rabdi and i was amazed i said give more <laughs> and then he gave more and then i said give more 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 <laughs> i was like today i will eat till my heart's content you know nobody can stop me today <laughs> and then i was eating this khaja also it's amazing of course but then something happened then what happened was my eyes went to a big pot of you know there's a big jar you can't call it jar it's like a big container it was liquid it, it was like light green gray blue water it, it was very light and it was like you know you know it's kind of a juice or something you know and there was like a coriander very small pieces of coriander leaves in that and then i inquired to the person who was selling that that uh, how much is the price of this and what is this so he said this is this is a sweet and salty water you know mix mixed with certain herbs there's a particular name for that i forgot what the name is what they call in odia that name because jagannath puri is in odisha and the language there is odia of course and then i told that person you know, oh it looks interesting you know can you just give me one cup and i gave him the money 10 rupees and then he gave me and i took it i was like wow <laughs> this is like the liquid version of rabdi you know rabdi is very solid sometimes um, and this was the liquid version so then what happened it was so tasty it was so amazing and i was like my god i need another <laughs> so then what happened um, i told him that i need another glass then what did he do um, because what i did by mistake uh, because there those days you know they used to give in the glass used to be made of you know mud so what i did was i drank it and i and i was not very sure if i will take but then i felt that you know let me take one or two glasses more so before deciding i had thrown the glass and then i told that give me one more glass and then what this person did was just before me uh, there was another person who was also drinking that juice i would say no divine juice <laughs> and when he was drinking that the moment i came back he finished drinking and then when i said give me another glass what this person did was he took that glass which this the other person was drinking and he dipped it in the container and then he gave it to me and i was like come on man this this is jhootha this is this has the person's remnants how can you just do like this this is i felt like this is because in the vedic culture it is said you should never eat jhootha because you know the the karma of that person is there you know that you should never eat you should never eat somebody else's remnants especially if you are trying to do something in the spiritual path of course but this person you know dipped it and then he gave it to me and then i was like <laughs> how do i take that you know i was i was in a big dilemma and then i was like this is mahaprasad one cs given i cannot throw it you know that's a very big offense it's a big aparad and it's it's not about some rules but it's like you know it's a great blessing of lord jagannath and then you know i was hesitant and i was like oh, i have to drink this now but then what happened suddenly from nowhere from from the back side a man came and uh, he was he looked very peculiar i would say he was looking like a normal person only but he had a very dark turban around his you know, head and it was a very peculiar and a very weird kind of a turban it was not exactly a turban it was kind of a rope which was there around his forehead actually it was like you know two rounds here and then i was like oh who is this person suddenly and then his eyes were like you know directly looking into my eyes and i was like my god <laughs> as if this person <laughs> is going to speak something very heavy now and then this person told me 
ए यू डोंट यू नो दैट इन जगन्नाथ पुरी देर इज नो जूठा देर इज नो रेमेडेंस इन जगन्नाथ पुरी दैट्स अ स्पेशलिटी दैट एनी प्लेट विच हैज रेमेडेंस यू नो इट्स कंसिडर टू बी वेरी प्योर दैट्स अ फैक्ट ऑफ जगन्नाथ पुरी एंड आई डिड नॉट नो दिस बिकॉज आई वॉज नॉट अवेयर एंड आई डिंट हैव मच नॉलेज ऑन जगन्नाथ पुरी एंड द थिंग्स विच गो ऑन देयर and then this person said well you should never deny this you know you should always drink you know whatever is jutha you should always take you know and then i asked my senior god brother and he said oh yeah yeah you don't know this custom about puri you know this is a very famous cu- custom that you can also eat in the remnants of others in the plates or in the glasses you can drink and then i was like okay wow very nice if we can drink that then so be it and then i drank that glass and i was amazed and then i said you know give me another <laughs> so third time i took and then uh, suddenly then i just looked around and this person was nowhere to be found and then i went to all the places in anand bazar and to my surprise i could not find this person and i stayed in jagannath puri for around 4 to 5 days i visited so many places there but still all my efforts in vain i could not find that person in anand bazar or in the vicinity of the temple or in the entire town of jagannath puri i could not find that person i also went to places away from jagannath puri but no this person was not visible but interestingly what happened was <coughs> the last day when we were about to return to our homes like i was about to go to guwahati my home there was a lecture in the morning and one of my gurus he was speaking he said something very interesting he said that jagannath puri is known as purushottam chetra purushottam chetra it's a very 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 powerful place and he was telling about that story you know when that there was a crow who fell down there was a you know pond a particular holy pond which you can't go now <laughs> so that story i will say some other time you know there was a crow who fell down there was a kind of a pond or a lake you call it and uh, the crow immediately transformed into a four-handed uh, vishnu dut he got back his spiritual form and he went back to the spiritual world so Uh, this story they were telling and then my uh, guru maharaj he also told uh, regarding uh, a story you know where that the demigods from the higher planetary systems you know like indra varuna chandra brahma shiva all these demigods they also come to jagannath puri in forms you know which we cannot see of course but they come in you know normal human forms and then they take darshan of lord jagannath they also sit maybe just beside you and they are also taking they are honoring the mahaprasad which is from lord jagannath directly jagannath baldev and subhadra of course baldev is balram jagannath is krishna and subhadra is their sister as we know so then uh, w- what what they what he said was that <coughs> and so it can happen that the person who is sitting next to you is some very great demigod he could be anybody he could be indra he could be brahma he could be shiva he could be surya chandra anybody and sometimes it also can happen <coughs> that they can stop you from doing some blunders and after that it can happen that you know you don't see them anymore and then i was like shocked it was like a 10000 volt of you know electricity <laughs> falling onto me and, I, I, and after the lecture i went to him and asked can you please tell me more regarding this then he said <coughs> yeah it happens many times in puri that you know suddenly sometimes uh, somebody appears and you know they tell you certain things you know they will remind you of certain principles of that holy dham which you should follow which you may not uh follow not because you don't know but maybe you don't know or maybe you are ignorant or you have forgotten something like this and they will remind you and after that they will disappear and then i was like my god just days before something similar happened to me now again i'm not uh, going into a presumption that you know the person who i met 
he was a demigod or he was somebody god god knows that only lord jagannath knows who he was maybe he was just another person you know and uh, maybe he was there around maybe he is always there there or maybe he is a somebody some higher being and maybe still he is always there or maybe he is there with you know different uh, forms who knows so but then i was like wow this this is so amazing this place is so powerful this place is this is mind boggling you know it's like you don't know who is sitting next to you there could be anybody you know he could be narad muni he could be vyas dev he could be parashar muni he could be anybody god knows who he is <laughs> so when you go to holy places like jagannath puri or vrindavan or tirupati or you know banaras whichever such potent places do not treat the people there as ordinary all right so maybe somebody sitting next to you and you kind of you know misbehave with that person due to some reason due to any reason it can be please 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 do not do that because we don't know what aparad we will do yes so in my case he protected me from doing a big aparad you know i was about to uh, of course i would have never thrown that glass but i would have always you know taken it with some resentment or you know the feeling that oh my god this is so dirty but this person protected me and i don't know who he is i don't know if i will see him in this life again but i distinctly remember his eyes he was very tall near about 6 3 6 4 around that height much much taller than me and i am so thankful to him that he protected me from doing something which i should not do by committing an aparad i should never do that because committing aparads are very detrimental to our spiritual life all right they will take us years and miles and light years back from where we started so whenever we go to a holy place all right there may be difficulties there may be people who uh, do not cooperate with us or you know we may not like their nature that's perfectly fine but please for god sake let us not misbehave with anybody because we do not know who they are all right and this is not only with jagannath puri this is to with every holy place and for all religions not only for uh, religions like hinduism even if you are going to you know places like jerusalem if you are going to the vatican if you are going to makkah then also you must follow this rule you, you may not go there religiously you may just go there as a visitor like you can go to vatican city you know just see the church or something if you are not a christian but please be very respectful there also all right in the holy places do not take things for granted because that's like a very high electric zone you know it's like you can get and you can lose also all right so be very careful and utilize the opportunity to get nourishment and enrichment from great souls and if you pray then god will definitely send you such people they may be ordinary people they are not necessarily demi gods or some you know some higher heavenly beings but they may be just someone like you or me but they will be there to help you and caution you all right so that is it i wanted to say and yes i forgot to say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and yes if you are new then please subscribe below and if you want a consultation from me regarding any area of your life then please go down to my website you will find it in the description section below okay and yes if you also have had some similar experiences in jagannath puri or anywhere else please write it down in the comments all right i would love to read them and i will be waiting to see the comments okay thank you very much bye bye <laughs>